and speaking from Shaitan, Iblis sees us and his volunteers, his army sees us, and we don't see him or see it. Allah Shaykh never used to say the personal pronoun of Shaitan, say it. Over everyone who knows something is someone who knows more. Someone. Over every servant who knows something, there's another one who knows more. Sayyidina Musa, he was asking me find mysteries of Allah's Amr, Amr wa Khag, Amr wa Irad, his order and his will. Allah said, I gave that knowledge to someone. It's not my sunnah to give that directly. You have to find someone that I gave that knowledge to them and humble yourself to take him as your guide and he give it to you. He shall that knowledge you're asking. I'd say to Musa, he didn't say, what? I'm Musa, I'm one of the five top guys. Why do I have to go to somebody? He said, I'm not going to stop till I find that one. I said, no. Sayyidina Khudr, he said, oh. and the point we want to find here is that, as I say, abdamin ibadina. We found a sir one from among many. What Allah gave to Sayyidina Khidr is beyond the range of humanity. No one knows what kind of secrets he has. And uh, he was teacher for Musa. And I would say he's only one from many. Not from many. And Sheikh Hashem used to quote a hadith, Qudsi, my awliya are under my domes, Kuba. No one knows them except me. No one knows. We hope to meet some of his beloved servants, or one of them, who teach us what we don't know. I was joking this afternoon with the uh, Montreal and uh, Morocco crowd that, you know, everybody is jealous of the other one for everything. It's human characteristic. Everyone's jealous. You got better this, you got better that, you got better this, you got better that. Better car, more money, better wife, better husband, better job, better position, better anything. <coughs> Except for one thing. Everyone thinks, you know, when they were handing out brains, gee, I got the best one, and I'm looking, everyone else got nothing. I may have got the only one. When I came to the brain table on the day of promises, I got my share. I'm thinking everyone else, no, only me. So we have to keep in mind, we don't know anything. Always somebody knows more than us. Therefore, we have to be. It's one of the reasons that the short of consultation is ordered in Islam. You might have a very good idea, but Allah oh, Sheikh used to say, when we say, is this a good idea? He'd say, yes, a very good idea. We're going to fix something at Green Lanes. The system there was heavily overcrowded. We're making Udo in the kitchen sink. Trying to get to be several hundred people, men and women, 
And also we're cooking and preparing the meals for the sink. That one little restroom outside. You take the for the shower. You take your shower thing. You can a rubber coupling. You put it on the sink. If the coast clear. You turn on the water. So it was getting overcrowded. So we thought to run some pipes from the basement outside to the garden to the lake. Ignacio said, is it a good idea? It seemed to us an excellent idea. Yes, a very good idea. But we have to check if it's a perfect idea. Sheikh is always going to be one step ahead. Found it enough, we did it, and it turned out that it worked out. Next year we moved to bigger places, bigger places. And then we outgrew that place and moved to a bigger. So always someone knows more than us. We have to be humble and realize we didn't understand everything. There's always more. More from knowledge. Ask that we our knowledge expand. Expand. We're asking to know what's the real. teachings or what's the real uh, significance I can use that word significance of prophets what he was teaching and bringing I'm reading some books I got into a discussion on chat forum for unusual subjects, not necessarily Islam, but Islamic subjects came in. came to the question of the uh, origin of religions. The moderator, he believes in one person who says Christianity, for instance, was a Roman construction for the purpose of controlling people and putting down the Jewish rebellion that had gone on for over a hundred years, hundreds of thousands killed. It was a terrible war that went on for years and years. And so the emperor had the New Testament constructed with a Messiah character because the Jews were rebelling and waiting for the man of the sword to come. And the Romans said, want to make this a messiah of peace if they slap you on one cheek look at the other cheek so they make me they substituted a messiah who was actually the roman emperor and for two thousand years it went like that so the moderator of the chat group i'm really dancing towards the edge of the cliff here uh believes in that one that Christianity is a is fiction. And he was interviewing another person. And that person said, yes, but I have Christ consciousness. She says, how you can have Christ consciousness when Jesus was a fiction by the Romans? She says, no, I have Christ consciousness. I reached to Christ consciousness. And they're going back and forth. Because I thought I had the best brain of any of them, I typed something. No, no, the only place Jesus becomes clear is in the Quran. A person said Jesus was fiction. What? A 600 AD? I said, later on, oh, I didn't even know the person who ran the red light before. I 
wasn't thinking of what I was saying. It was 600 years to play. <laughs> I never miss. I missed his point completely. And I went back to a hadith. I think it was for Abu Dhar when he was older. Oh, I think it was Abu Dhar. The next generation, like not the Tabi'in, Tabi'in, Tabi'in. The younger ones came to find Sahaba that would even go travel to find Sahaba that were still living to take hadith from them. And they asked him, Oh, the companion of Rasulullah, the one who you saw a prophet, you actually saw him. He lived with you. Because the point they were trying to make is there's historical evidence you can't find in the first couple hundred years, is not much, a few coins. And they said, what, what was it like to see prophets, to be with you? And he said, everything we had in the time of prophets is gone now. This is still Sahaba are living. Only the Salah is left. No, oh, it's the prayer. He said, even that's different, not the same thing. So if you begin to look at the what you want, the university research into religion, you come up with a problem. I began to look from that in history of the Old Testament. Again, they say, None of that could be true, it's only a couple hundred years. One person wrote, even Christianity got up and running before Judaism, modern Judaism, rabbinic Judaism did. They put their act together first. And so what you have, you have to look for the What has been transmitted? What has been sent down to us through non-intellectual means, non-mental means? Because they use intellect so understand as the heart, not the mind. I say transmitted knowledge is the written knowledge. If you can't trust that, you have to find another kind of transmission. What's been brought down through holy people? If you can't find any more prophets, is there anyone carrying that light to guide us to the reality? The Prophet him, was trying to call people, spent his life calling, and previous prophets were calling. If you say the histories are not correct, something must be correct because it's gathering people and calling them with something for thousands of years. So which is the thing that's true? What's at root? What's the root? What's the real thing? How we're going to find that? I remember seeing from Sheikh Al Akbar, Ibn Al Arabi, Allah bless him. He wrote a book, Anka Mughal, and he was describing his uh, dives, diving, was, was, his dives into reality oceans and what he was finding and the translator who translated that book into English he took one section and put that in the front as an introduction and Ibn Arabi is speaking to whoever is going to read that book for up to generations and generations he said oh the reader of this book to my 
dear readers and every reader of all my books. You know, Harvey had a lot so many things. All very high, difficult to penetrate. He said, you have to know our best. We need his help to understand. Anything I put in my books, when I mention anything having to do with the signs of this world or the phenomena of this world or anything, if I mention something having to do with this world, it's only to make a make your imagination to work, to uh, inspire you or move you to go deeper and try to find the real reality. I only meant it as a jumping off, a starting place. The shore you stay in it and die from there. He said, I was finding, for instance, the uh, Mahdi through myself. I was diving into myself, into my reality, I would say, Saruri him. I show you the signs uh, on the horizons in this outer world and in yourselves. Until you know, to your firm in it, you know it's the truth. Anything I mention from the outside world. Only using that to jar your imagination, to try to go inside, to inspire you to find it inside yourself. I was finding empty inside myself. I was finding the seal of saints, inside myself. I was finding Saint Isa inside myself. I was finding Jibria inside myself. I was finding all the things we hope to see to heavens through my, he called his. Adamaic uh, substance. I would say I created Adam on my solar, on my form. I was looking in my human creation. He said it's something much greater than you understood. Well, not only these bodies that eat and drinks and restroom and sleep and there's another reality. And Aulia were trying and they dedicated themselves to try to reach that reality. To try to reach that reality. I want to shake Nazim, Allah bless you. Remember one night he said, no more Naqshbandi, no more Qadri, no more Chisti, no more Sufi, no more Shia, no more Salafi, no more Christian, no more Judas, Judy, Jewish. Be Rabbani, Kun Rabbani. Be Rabbani. Rabbani was taken from his Lord, those lights, as someone like Sayyidina the Khidr was doing. What Fawajila, Abdan Medi Bhagana, Atainahu Rahma, Wajel, Wajelhu, Wajella Minad, Wajelhu Minaduna Ilma. Like her? I gave him from myself knowledge directly. That's what Rabban the Abdul Aziz al Allah bless him, said like that. He's from the ancient language. I have a book. One At one time, Quran says all people spoke one language until something happened and so many. Language is so much confusion. How to translate what they were saying, what the ancient books were saying really, how was the translation of it really, what was the meanings they really meant to do. So he goes back to Rabbani, that Allah is saying, Kun Rabbani, every prophet, every holy person, everyone giving wisdom, said to his people, Don't be my worshippers, but be Rabbani. Try to be one that Allah gave from Himself. Said. Filled his heart or her heart with wisdom and knowledge and rahma, mercy. It's a command. 
It was an unchanging command for all prophets and it was the evil prophets. They weren't calling people to dunya. Dunya, you never get to the, uh, you can't fix it. You can't get to the bottom of it. Rana Sheikh used to say, used to say they've been working on dunya since Adam and Eve. They didn't finish it yet, they're never going to finish it. It can't be that to complete dunya in a way that takes you to your destination, can't happen. Finally, you run out of time. You build the biggest monument to yourself like Fir'aun. Where is Fir'aun? His monument is there. Where is the Yuhu? I think he was buried there. Where down there? Who? Where is he? He couldn't stay. Yes, Ruhum and Imhav. Make them to run out of time. Imam Abu Hassan Shazan cursing evil evil doers makes they make them to run out of time. They can't finish their thoughts. It's a hopeless job. You're building your building on sand, the sand cliff. When we went to the Bahamas a couple of years, we stayed in a place where the Swami used to stay, the chief of that place. It was on the beach, built on wooden and concrete pillars. Waves would come in, you were up high, you could look out. One year we came and they're taking our bags and I'm thinking we're going there. And they stopped. They said, why we can't go there? They said, look. Oh. The hurricane came and took it away. It's gone. It was on the edge of the cliff. Build on Dunya, you can't reach. So we're asking the pillars, the pillars of real faith. What's the pillars of real faith? How Todd wants it, he said. Pillars, mountains to people from Sheikh. He means holy. Ones, holy people, holy person, personalities. Because mountains are not real out of I would say, you look at the mountains, I didn't memorize the ayat in the Arabic. You look at the mountains, you feel them strong, one day they'll be crazy and naheed, ground into powder and uh, made flat. We need the pillars can support our journey, our search to find truth, to find reality, to find heavenly realities, not from this dunya, in ourselves. May Allah make us to be with them, to catch their holy hands, and to be carried up. Allah used to say, Say, be with me. I always say, you forget me, I forgot you. Somebody told me a story, I said it to the other group today. There was a person worked in an office, a lady worked in an office in America or UK, Western country. And she went to her work one day, and something happened from a fellow worker, not good. A bad situation. She got out of it. She escaped from it. Nothing happened to her, except she was shaken up. And she went to the sheikh later and said, how could this happen to me? She was shocked. How could this happen? He said, because you forgot me. Said, if you were with me, it never happened. As a reminder. Al-Qurumi al 
Remember me, I remember you. I'm with my servant when he remembers me. And we sit like this, remembering Muhammad Sheikh and Grand Sheikh and Prophet Sallallahu remembering our Lord, they're with us. We go out from the Sahabat and we forgot everything. Then we're going back to our uh, level of ghafl, of ghafl, heedlessness. Heedlessness, we never remember. We're just busy with our lives, with everything, our ego's needs, and we forgot everything. Therefore, we're asking to make our rabita, our connection, to be stronger, to the spirituality, through the body of the shaykh is difficult. Mother Sheikh, you can't. Mother Sheikh, Nazar, you can't. Mother Sheikh Hashem is withdrawn. Might speak a few words, but the connection has to be on another level. To connect to that power, that reality, that support. If we can be with Him, they could show us. What was there was an ayat asking about the other four Khan. Yeah, you know, I'm an old talk of all the general four Khan. Remember that ayat? We found it the other day. Everything has to have a root. Let me see where he got this off the internet. Is it a comic book? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن تتقوا الله يجعل لكم فرقانا فرقانا ويكفر عنكم سيئاتكم ويغفر لكم والله ذو الفرج العظيم. صلّى الله تعالى وسلّم على كريم. How do they translate it? Will you believe if you fear Allah? He will grant you a criterion to judge between right and wrong, yeah. remove from you all evil that may afflict you, and forgive you. For Allah is the Lord of grace and doubt. I mean, if you, there's another one in the Surah of Talaq. Fear Allah, He makes a way out for you. I just want to say, Fear Allah, He gives you a sign between safe way and dangerous way. A lot of Sheikh used to say there's two streams, two rivers, two currents circling this world. One calls to darkness and despair and depression and sickness and hopelessness. Another river or stream is carrying you to lights and happiness. You decide which stream you want to dive into. Dive into the shaitani stream, calling and pulling you down, always. You connect with the heavenly figure, taking you up, Prophet taking you up, Aulia taking you up. To be with them. To be with them. We can't be solid clean, but we ask him to be with them. We just passed the uh, uh, Eid, Arafat, the sacrifice of Ibrahim, Ismail. You say Isaac. We don't need to argue for that. The important thing is the lesson that Ismail, he said to his father, Insha'Allah. Go ahead, do what you're ordered. You'll find me, inshallah, if Allah wills, to be with the patient, to be with those powerful ones. Sayyidina Musa said to Sayyidina Khidri, Satajiduni, inshallah, sabra. Inshallah, you find me, God willing, to be patient. You can't be patient. Sayyidina Ismail, better answer, he said, 
although both is perfect prophets, but for teachings. You find me to be with them. You go to them for your support. You're not losing the support of our faith. We're not using that rabbi talk, we're not using every day you'll be tested in so many situations. If you take the support of the shaykh, you'll pass through the situation. If not, you get stuck there, something happened, you get angry, or you something happened. They ought to make it to be easy for us. Amen. Make Zucker first. 